Hi folks, last time I shared with you my Urban EDC, or Everyday Carry. For this video, I'd like to show you my Urban Everyday Carry bag. I carry this bag with me every day whenever I leave the house. Although I may not have it on my person at all times, it's always left in my car or office, which is usually just a short walk away from where I am at, at any moment. It complements the EDC system I carry on my person, helping me to more easily tackle any challenges I might face over the course of a day. This bag is geared towards an urban environment that I live and work in and provides me with additional clothing, sustenance, tools, communication, hygiene, first aid, and tends to make life's hiccups much easier to manage. In addition, my bag has a few survival type items, because hey, you never know. The total bag weight comes in around 11 pounds and is kind of in a constant state of evolution. While my EDC carried on my person has pretty much stayed the same over the past five or so years, the bag that I've carried has changed probably three times in the past five years and the contents of the bag change on a monthly, if not daily, basis. However, this current iteration in regards to the contents of my bag has remained fairly consistent for the past several years, or several months, I guess, with the Timbuktu bag itself being a staple of mine since about 2013. I choose to carry a messenger bag as it lends to the urban environment I work in. I don't feel it's too tactical or attention-grabbing. I used to carry a Maxpedition Versa pack, which I still use on day hikes and such, but, uh, I blend right in with plenty of other guys at work and my community that carry messenger bags. I certainly wouldn't want to carry this for uh, tens of miles if I was forced to. A backpack would be preferable for hauling gear longer distances, but again, for the environment I'm in, this bag just feels right and works great for me. It's a classic uh, Timbuktu messenger. It's made of a very durable nylon exterior. I want to say it's ballistic grade nylon. Don't quote me on that. Uh, it has a waterproof interior flap. It has plenty of interior organization, which meets all my needs. It can e easily hold a 15-inch laptop or tablet if desired. My laptop I currently have is a 17-inch. It will not fit in there. However, if I want to carry my tablet, very easy. Uh, the only feature I wish this bag had was a top grab handle. There's no grab handle along the top. Uh, however, it appears in newer designs of the same bag, and looking online, it contains that feature. On the exterior of the bag, I have a climbing grade carabiner. Uh, I have no idea why, but I like to have uh, to secure gear to my person or pack every once in a while. I also have a small S-beaner uh, as an attachment point on the other side of the bag. Uh, opening the bag. Ooh, we open the bag. Uh, in the front pocket, I have a spare key. Uh, as well as, uh, I have a spare car key, I have a spare house key. I have a photon single LED light. And I have a small bright orange uh, Fox 40 whistle. I also carry a lighter in here somewhere. A lighter. Um, in the Napoleon pouch, I keep a K-Bar. Uh, this is a BK-13. Or I'm sorry, it's a BK-11. It's a neck knife. It sports a 3 and a quarter inch uh, 1095 Crovan carbon steel blade. It has a little paracord wrapped around the handle there. Not even looking at the camera. I'm new to this. I don't know how to do this. Don't judge me. All right. Uh, going into the bag, I have uh, some food-related items, the two dump pouches that are right here. Uh, I have a granola bar. I have a peanut butter. I have a fruit strip. I have an emergency immune support uh, fizzy drink. I have a small plastic uh, bag that contains a bag of tea, some salt and pepper, some sugar, some lemon, and some honey. I have some gum, and then I have some water purification tablets. Uh, on the outside of the administrative type pouch, I have a spork, titanium spork. I have a pen, a pencil, and I also carry a Sharpie in there. However, I was just, uh, I was taking notes earlier with my Sharpie and I neglected to put it back in. Um, in the adjacent Velcro pouch, I have a small space blanket. And that wraps it up for the administrative pouch. Going into the main compartment of the bag, I have four main sections. The first is my water bottle. It's a one liter Nalgene water bottle. Uh, it has a coupling SGI stainless steel cup. Um, next to that's my hygiene or first aid kit. Actually, hygiene and first aid kit. Uh, it's in a Maxpedition cuboid. Uh, beneath that, I have a technology compartment and a small Tupperware. Um, and then my final compartment is a Maxpedition, or I'm sorry, this is a VanQuest uh, Fat Pack 4x6. 
and that houses my tools. So let's circle back and look at my hygiene and first aid compartment. In the pocket of the Maxpedition cuboid, I have the following items. I have uh, some Advil. I have a small boo-boo kit that contains uh, triple antibiotic ointment, some bandages, some gauze, some tweezers, uh, some medical tape, and a few other simple first aid related items. I have a chapstick. I have a container that has uh, aspirin in it in case of aches and pains or a heart attack. And then I have a two container or a container that holds uh, pills with two different sides. One holds a multivitamin and then the other one holds uh, a Benadryl in case of a severe allergic reaction. And those go in the pocket of my cuboid. In the main pouch, uh, I have more hygiene related items. Inside of a freezer bag, I have some travel tissues, some bug spray, some hand sanitizer, a stolen bar of hotel soap, and a stolen hotel lotion. On the outside of the bag, I have a small mirror, a disposable razor, um, a travel toothpaste and toothbrush, nail clippers, a small deodorant, you gotta smell good for the ladies, and a razor. I think I already said a razor, and that's about it. And that's what's in my uh, hygiene slash first aid uh, compartment. In my technology Tupperware compartment, I have an Anchor Astro Mini USB charger, the connecting cable for that charger. I have an iPhone 6 uh, charging cable, as well as a wall adapter. I have some headphones for said iPhone. And in my Tupperware, although it's not technology related, there's a picture of me and my parents uh, when I was a child in the 1980s. Because, hey, morale, uh, a morale item is always a good thing to have around. All right, now on to my tool compartment. Uh, my tool compartment is a VanQuest Fat Pack 4x6. Uh, I use it to keep tools. I used to keep the tools I have in a different pouch, but I enjoy the trauma kit style where I can just uh, lay it down, open the kit up, and have access to all of my tools. Uh, on the outside of the pouch, I have a, a few small bit kits. That go with a screwdriver that's inside. I also have an Allen wrench. Uh, that's kind of a backup to me for some work-related things as well as some home-related things. So that's on the outside of the pouch. Uh, let's blow this kit open. All right, let's get into it. All right, hopefully this all fits on frame. Um, I'm going to go compartment by compartment. If I've already removed the tools, uh, it just explains to you what I carry in my pack. Uh, Right here on the bottom flap, I have a four-way silcock. Uh, you can get your mind out of the gutter for that one. It's just a water key. It allows me to access water on the outside of many industrial and commercial buildings. I have a small pair of stainless steel scissors. Uh, they're more for precision cutting. I have a six-foot tape measure that's uh, just attached to a piece of chain. Um, going back in top to my left pouch, I have a uh, set of vice grips, small vice grips, and a titanium pry bar. Um, on my right hand pouch, I carry a small three inch ratchet. I carry a gator grip socket set. Uh, basically, the gator grip replaces a whole socket set for me. I believe it replaces uh, about, let me check my notes here. I don't know. It basically replaces a whole socket set for me. Uh, it's fantastic. It's about a quarter inch to uh, a three quarter inch or seven millimeter to 19 millimeter socket sizes. It's fantastic. Uh, I also have a small container in which uh, electrical tape is wrapped around the outside that has a couple small pieces of hardware, uh, nails, screws, uh, nuts, and bolts. Uh, my back rear pouch, the front pouch, I have a screwdriver that takes those bit heads in the front of the pouch that we saw earlier. I have some Gorilla Tape wrapped around an old credit card. I have a moleskin notebook. I have two small precision screwdrivers, one Phillips, one flathead. Uh, and then what would go in the back part of the center pouch would be my knife sharpener or blade sharpener, a crescent wrench, uh, some zip ties that are wrapped together or held together with a hairband, and then I have a Ziploc baggie that has some Gorilla Glue, um, some alcohol wipes, and two AAA batteries that uh, are used for backup for my flashlight that I carry on person, and that about wraps up my tool compartment. All right, we're almost at the end of my bag here. Uh, these are the last few clothing items that I keep hidden in my bag. They're not hidden in my bag, they're just in my bag. Um, in addition to the clothing items, I also do keep a secondary water bottle, a platypus collapsible one liter container of water. Um, I don't engage in a ton of strenuous backpacking, outdooring adventure type, uh, type stuff, but I do go camping quite a bit and I do like being outdoors and I do like uh, biking and hiking. 
And one of the things that I found is I cannot have too much water on me. So I love having my liter water bottle. If I feel like I'm doing anything strenuous or I'm going to be out on the road for a while, I will. I always have my secondary water bladder. Um, just nice to know that I have another container to put water in in case, uh, again, I'm, I feel like I may be without access to clean water for a while. Um, in addition, I have some clothing. I have a pair of athletic shorts that can double as underwear if need be. I have a bandana. I have a uh, Boonit style hat, uh, good for sun coverage in case I don't have a hat. I have some athletic socks in case I need to change socks. I have a pair of mechanics gloves that come in handy quite often. And then uh, one of my favorite things I carry is this Panagonia. It's a, uh, it's a water resistant jacket that's ultra light. Now, I don't like carrying an umbrella around, um, and what this does is it allows me to stay dry in case a storm encroaches on me and I'm not prepared, which I'm usually prepared. Um, however, it's fantastic when it, you know the weather catches you off guard. It's ultra, ultra, ultra light. I wish I could remember the name. I'll probably throw it in the description box or have it scroll across the bottom of the screen. It's a little pricey, but it's bailed me out of a lot of situations where uh, I needed rain protection and I didn't quite have it. Uh, again, I don't really like carrying an umbrella. I like to keep my hands free, and this does the job for me. So that about does it for my urban everyday carry bag. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave any comments below, and I look forward to your feedback. Have a great day. Thank you.